Welcome, this is Arconix B X Monad, and this is a sneak preview of what Arconix B X Monad or Arconix D X Monad could be for you. We're on the latest kernel 4.20, but uh, let's have a look if there is something to update. And if we have a AOR package to update. So that's that. We have um, a window tiling manager, so control T, control T. Let's put on my screen key. So you see my keyboards, what I press. Control Shift Q is going to quit everything. And control T, 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 T is going to tile everything. So everything at the, every window that that, that that point is blue, so focused, can be killed with a super shift Q. When we press um, super shift return, for instance, then we are have this, this white thing here. This white thing is, of course, tuner. So we can have all the elements we need, like for instance, if we do a backup scale <coughs> and another one a month later, we go to our tuner and we go up here and say what changed between now and then. And then we can compare, we, you see this, everything is in red, so the GTK theme has changed. We have icons from Hello, so everything is changeable in, in that sense that uh, we can theme it and it's uh, all done in super shift d and that's our well super shift d that's the one this is our d menu that's one alt f2 you can start typing and run firefox kill it again now he wants to load everything up let's wait for him let's not wait for him and then we have alt f3 which is XFCE app finder, fine. But there is also uh, Super F11 if you want to launch uh, Vivaldi or something like that. Just start typing. And then, by the way, you saw that it's not Vivaldi, but Vivaldi Stable. That's the name. And Super F12 is a little bit smaller. There's this uh, fire thingy. Was it again? Kaka Fire, I think it was. Okay, so these, oops, that's that's quitting. Super shift, so super X is deciding to stop, to lock, to hibernate, etc. So escape is done. It's not doing anything and super shift Q is killing the fire. I'm not sure if I have any of these fun things installed, C matrix and all that. I see I have. So these fun elements that we have um, available on our machine uh, curse radio is probably installed as well so we have some music in the background yep, and that's playing so you can have um, I suppose the pipes is there as well then the bash pipes was it called again pipes there we go and alt shift u is our uh, pie wall that kicks in so it's a black wallpaper and everything now turns black, ideal for a print screen now. And everything is now, uh, well, we have a little print screen of this thing. So we go and have a look. We go to Control H, we go to our pictures. Can kill this one. And in here, I suppose it's this one. This is our element, Super F. It's going to full screen everything so we can have a look. You can say no, I want to have a nice cut here, I want to have this as cut, and that's it. And we've changed a little bit our theme, maybe you've noticed in the updates, it's a bit nicer now. But basically it's just a functional desktop environment. If you are ready for it, the tutorials will come, but at this point in time they're not. Say it's too white, say it's too white, Alex appearance is the application to remember i always go to con um, super shift d but hey if you like super f12 as equally good alex appearance open it up it's now red let's go for have a look dark and then a theme that's also dark ish why not this one ghost flexible dark um, well yeah why not so 
there's an apply button down here but just remember Eric what did you choose have lock dark and ghost flexible arc because we need to go to a second place so that's one thing we need to set but there's also Tunar and Tunar is part of XFCE so Tunar is changed fine oh thank you very much so that's okay if it was not okay if there are elements that are not okay then they are defined in Control alt m and in m you can define as well here these appearance settings and um, just for clarity and, and education we're gonna look for them anyway does not seem to be necessary have look dark but it all depends on the software you've installed and all that but let's go for the complete settings so we're 100 percent sure it will work one of those it was one of those don't really recall which one it was i think it was this one and fonts we keep we kept off from the fonts everything is the same so now we have this kind of look um control hold control shift like this and we can keep uh, working on Arch Linux B. So basically this is a short uh, preview, uh, all kinds of things. You can launch here your Spotify. This is my video that's recording. That's basically uh, in here, this, this window here. But I can say, let's uh, start up Spotify in this one. And that one I'm gonna start up uh, Inkscape, right? And that one is gonna be GIMP. So it, you, you feel it's super fast. Um, it's also minimal in usage of RAM. Really amazing um, how, how low it is in usage of RAM. So my suggestion, if you like tiling window managers, and that's a big if of course, but if you already used i3 awesome BSP WM, then maybe this one is uh, also one that, that you would like. You see that all the shortcut keys are there, are present. And Ctrl, Alt, F, Firefox, and, and so on. Super F5, melt, both, it will start up. Super F7, VirtualBox will kick in, etc. So yes, everything is um, functional and working. All the keyboard shortcuts are there. It's just a matter of learning more. All right, calling it a day.